I'm so happy that my church, the Seventh-day Adventist, has taken an initiative to help people as, as a minister, to help people with, with their wills, so that people are better organized and better manage their assets a little better. Uh, it will help us as Seventh-day Adventist church members and non-Seventh-day Adventist church members who might be related to us, uh, to us members. I was born in South Africa in, in Newcastle but I spent some time in Swaziland with where my parents lived. Uh, it so happened my mom passed away in 1992. I was about 25 years of age then. Uh, but my dad passed away in 1997. And at that, at, that, at that point in time, maybe I should give you my background in the sense that my dad was a top lawyer in, in Swaziland. He, as part of his, of his career, he ended up being the, one of the high court judges in, in, in Swaziland. Uh, so he was a well-known lawyer and, as I, as I indicated, a top uh, uh, legal person. But for some strange reason, uh, at his death, we discovered that he did not have a will. And that surprised us because as a lawyer would expect him to, to have drawn, drawn up a will. And I'm definitely sure that uh, he had an opportunity to, to, to be an executor of many estates uh, for, 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 for his uh, uh, clients. But at the end of the day, uh, we discovered that he did not have a, a will. It took our family seven years to basically wind down the, the, my, my da dad estate. My dad was married to my mom, okay, but he had other children outside the marriage. Okay. So when the process, if we do not have a will, the process in Switzerland was the master of the high court needed to appoint an executor for, for that estate. So he would call, he called the whole family and we tried to, 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 to appoint an executor among the family. But the, the master of the, of the high court in his wisdom uh, indicated that because we, are not, we were divided as a family, he needed to appoint a, an independent person as a, an executor. That person was, was appointed, but unfortunately one of my half-brothers, in my view, uh, got to have a relationship with, with this executor. So to, to a very large extent, this executor was then uh, siding with, with my half-brother, who was not a legitimate child from, out of the marriage. So we then, my sister and I, because we had the only two legitimate kids, my sister and I then lodged a, a complaint uh, with the master of the high court. Uh, to basically try and change uh, the, the executor. Uh, while the master of the high court was in that process to try and, and listen to everybody, everybody's view, uh, for the, the executor then unfortunately was met with a car accident and then he died. The master of the high court then appointed another executor. Okay. And, uh, for some strange reason, even this particular executor uh, had some sort of close relationship with, with my half-brother. My sister and I were then forced to, to appoint a, an attorney to represent us, our, our, our interest in, in, in basically this, my dad's estate. Eventually, after, after, after a long struggle, we then, even, we, we then my dad's uh, estate was then wound down. I told my wife after, after this experience that I needed to, to draw up a will uh, for the family because I didn't want my children and my family to go through the experiences that I went through uh, with my dad's, uh, after my dad's death. So yes, I've, 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 I have a will uh, which was drawn up through the help of a, a financial advisor. Uh, and I'm excited that uh, the, 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 the church uh, has taken this initiative of, of educating people about uh, wills because especially in, in an African setting uh, it, it's very rare to, 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 to find people believing in wills. Okay? So it, it's still not necessarily stigmatized but it's, it, it's very rare to, 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 to find people with, with wills in an African setting. 
for some strange reason they tend to basically take things for granted and things like wills and insurances, taking insurance for the family, funeral covers, those kind of things uh, basically are, are very rare in an African setting, especially most the conservative uh, Africans. The, the more educated people, folk, uh, tend to, to want to throw up wills and uh, basically ensure that the financial for the families is there. But unfortunately in South Africa especially, there are very few of those uh, who, are, who are educated due to the uh, things of the past, the apartheid system, which basically disadvantage a lot of people. So to, to many, a will and insurance uh, cover, those are luxuries, uh, so to say, because uh, of, of, of what they went through in the past in terms of the apartheid system. As a ministry that the Seventh-day Adventist Church has taken to basically help people with wills, it, it is extremely important and uh, it will be helpful to members and uh, Seventh-day Adventists as m membership and their relatives who may not necessarily be Seventh-day Adventists at, at the time of throwing wills. So it is a helpful exercise which needs to be to, to, to continue and spread around uh, the, whole, the whole wide world. Everybody will benefit from this ministry.